Yo, what is Abaddon? My name is Abaddon and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, Defaultio has just added a brand new item to Lumber Tycoon 2. It's actually kind of more like 13 items, we'll get into that. So guys, Defaultio actually kind of messed up on this, so in older servers, version 2207 or older, servers versions can be found on the bottom left of your screen, by the way. But anyways, in server versions 2207, the bag of candy will actually be last year's bag of candy when you open it, the green bag of candy. So what this means is that you actually have another chance to stock up on last year's bag of candy. Of course, only if you're watching this video shortly after it comes out when these older servers are common. If you don't actually want to miss the next update, you want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, I'll keep you guys updated. But anyways, you're actually going to have to join a server that is version 2208 or newer if you want to get the new bag of candy. It is located in Wood R Us and it can be purchased for $622. And it is of course called the blue bag of candy. You'll notice that it is actually different, the box is now a more yellow color, whereas the previous bags of candy, the box was black. Well, this has actually been standardized among all of the boxed candy bags, so if you have a boxed candy bag on your base of any type, the box will now appear yellow as well. So once you purchase the bag of candy, you can open it, and this will of course give you the blue bag of candy, and if you open it one more time, it will give you a random number of a random assortment of different candies. Now something about this blue bag of candy is that it was actually made by me and Electrotech. We submitted this model to Defaultio, and he actually used it for this update, so that is kind of absolutely insane. I can't believe something that I worked on actually made it into the game. That that is just crazy, but anyways, since me and Electro are kind of awesome, we actually made this year's candy more epic than any of the years previous. Now the blue bag of candy is actually bigger than all of the other bags of candy because we packed more candy variants in this one than ever before. So here is all of the candy for this year's update. So you'll notice that this year is absolutely packed with candy variants. For comparison, here is all of the candy from the previous years, and you'll see that there is almost double the amount of candy compared to other years. Hopefully you guys are as excited about having this much candy as I am. I really enjoyed making these candies, so hopefully you guys enjoy having them. Also, we actually packed this year's candy full of easter eggs, things that refer to other games that Defaultio has developed or various events that have happened within the Lumber Tycoon community. So if you guys spot any, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. I would love to see your guesses for what these easter eggs actually mean and what they are. And I'll probably post a video in about a week explaining the easter eggs in detail. So I think that it will be pretty fun for you guys if you try to find some of them. So if you are unfamiliar with Lumber Tycoon 2 candy, most of the candy variants are parodies of real life candy, so I would imagine that you can probably guess what most of these candies are referencing, but there might be a few that you do not recognize, so I will quickly go over all of the real life candies these Lumber parody candies refer to. Alright, so first of all we have the Red Signs candy which parodies Red Vines, and then we have Junior Blueprints candy, and this one is referencing referencing Junior Mints. Next we have the Cars Bar, which is the Mars Bar in real life. Then we have Jenny's Peanut Butter Trucks, which is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups in real life. Next we have the Shabby Taffy, which references the Laffy Taffy in real life. Then we have Hoover's Tropics and Trees, and this one might be a little bit more obscure, it's Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Next we have the Butterflinger, and this one quite obviously is referencing Butterfingers. Okay, next we have Twigglers, and this one is referencing Twizzlers. Then we have Snow Cones, which is referencing Snow Caps. Next we have Give Five Dollars, and this one is referencing Take Five. And finally we have Original Tree, which is Original Spree in real life. And now for the time you've all been waiting for, the one, the only, Jesse's Math Bar. This is a blank cyan bar, it's like the pink candies from the previous years except it's cyan. 
The Jesse's Math Bar is just like the pink candy bar in that it is super rare, so you're going to have to open a lot of candy bags before you actually find it. I'm almost certain that roughly 1 in 300 bags will contain a Jesse's Math Bar, so you're going to have to do a lot of buying and opening in order to find this. Or of course you could get it first try because it is based on luck. As with all candies, you can eat it, and this one gives you a special effect. This one will give you the exact same effect as the pink candy gives you, except it is blue. Again, as with all candies, it'll give you a nom 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 sound when you eat it, but it'll actually give you this nice, gentle tone, and this is actually the exact same as the pink candy bar. This bag of candy doesn't actually include the pink candy bar. The only way you can get that this year is by going into an old server, of course, and getting the green candy bag, as this year's candy bag only includes the Jesse's math bar. Anyways, make sure that you stock up on this item. I'm not kidding. You need to stock up on it. Get as many as you can. This thing is only $622, which means that you can get as many as you can. And guys, this will go up in price massively, so you can sell it to other players once it goes off sale after the 31st of October and you will get rich. I promise you, you will get rich. So make sure that you stock up on these, get as many as you can. Actually, the best way to do this is actually to get a small car, try to drive it inside of Wood R Us, but you need to kind of maneuver yourself in, and once you're in, you can actually maneuver your car over here, and you can actually put all of the items in your truck so get as many as you can into the truck there is six so you can do six at a time and then you just want to drive it back over to the counter and then you can buy six of them at a time so this is very 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 helpful hopefully you guys are going to be able to take advantage of this and get as many as you can obviously since these are such epic items I mean I made them what can I say they're they're just kind of awesome them, um, you're going to want to get as many as you can. Stock up, guys! Stock up! Real quick, I would just like to mention that there is currently a Halloween-themed building contest in my Discord server, so make sure that you join that so that you can participate. The prizes are kind of epic, so why not? It is so unbelievably fun to do building contests, even if you don't win, because in this case, you get to build something themed around Halloween, which I just think is really fun, and you get a chance of winning an awesome prize. Maybe that's just me, though. I like building in Lumber Tycoon a lot. Also get the Boreal Pumpkin merch, it is only on sale for a limited time, it's only 5 Robux, and it looks awesome, especially with the new items that have just been released. I mean, it just matches the ultra rare new candy bar so well because it is also blue. Or if you guys want to get a different color of pumpkin, we also have that on the merch store as well. And I'm thinking of making some candy merch, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new candy as much as me and Electro enjoyed making it. And I'll see you in the next video once it's out.